You know, I told this now, man. I have what I know. Lot of new money we invest. You can have the proof of whom they came and invest in all the time there. I have one. Who puts on him? I have one. Hello wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, um, this video had been trending online about one man who has a hotel, I don't know his name actually because it came and came and came and came and came and sometimes when video continue coming in from all over the places asking me to speak about it, I don't have any option than to bring it to you, take a look. Thursday to seal these premises and I said okay, can we talk to anybody, they said no, that's what they want to say and they have done it, so we should vacate. And I said, where can we meet you? They didn't answer me. And I said, can I call the owner? Let me inform you so I can see you and talk to you. He didn't answer me. But when Mr. Pascal came on Monday, Mr. Pascal said, from this building to the last word there, that it belongs to governor, the government of Imo State, that he wants to see you, that he's your friend. He used to come upstairs. That he wants to see you to bring the paper to your, his office to show that you are the owner of the property. If not, he come in peace. After this one, anything that happened, we should take it. That's all. And he left. Today, they didn't talk to us. They came with escorts, four, four e-locks, with a lot of people. They didn't talk to anybody. They just wrote what they were right. And they said, we should not cover it anymore. That if we cover it, if they come back, they will steal this place. Thank you, sir. Onuna, every day, Onuna has a foreign direct investment, FDI. Meanwhile, the local direct investment, you know, we are now a little two foreign direct investment. Get a better state. And you know, I told this now, man, I have what I know, lot of new that we invest. You can have the proof of whom they came and invest in all the time. There, I have one who puts on him a happy marker. Bow marker, happy marker. I'm going to state. I'm going to have that state in boss on the before you talk about foreign direct investment look at the local direct investment how are they performing what support have you given to them how are you what are the policies that what are the things your creation that you have created to support these businesses to survive over three years we don't make profit in in, in, in the businesses are dead yet you are still strangulating the little ones that are remaining you want us to do you want us to close it down for all these people to go oh yeah, if i close it will you employ them if you give me you people give me too much to headache i'll close them what is wrong with you you people people should allow me to rest Allow me to do my business the way I'm not, I, I don't hurt anybody. I don't have anything to do with anybody. I do my business legitimately and so on. Please, you people should leave me alone. You move people. I'm calling on you people to come and help me. Because I don't have brother. I don't have sister. You are my brother. You are my sister. I depend on you people. They used to need more. You people should come. I ask this man question. He should leave me alone. Do his business of governance. Let us do our business of business. Mm -hmm. That is happening at Emo State. Now, we are talking about Lagos and Abuja, where they are demolishing our properties and taking over, forcefully taking over our properties. It is also happening in APC State, in Imo State. You see, when I talk about APC, some people think I have one personal issue with them. This is one of the problems, especially those of our people in the party. What are you trying to prove? You are trying to prove to, to, to your party that you can punish your people for not voting them? What is wrong with us? When we are asking our people to come back home, is this how you are treating them, those who are already back home? I we expect people to come back. That is why Imo State had the lowest in attracting foreign direct investment. They cannot. How can they? We are no longer talking about insecurity. We are talking about even those who are doing business, our own people in our land. The way you treat them. Treat them like trash. Take their properties by force. Humiliate them, subjected to all manner of ill treatment. And you expect this place to thrive? The government cannot provide enough jobs. When the people are trying to do their best, the least you can do is to support them. We are industrious people. You can imagine if the weight of Ndibo comes down on Igbo land in terms of industries and commerce. No single Igbo man will be unemployed, 
our youth will be so busy and will not be available to be used as political dogs and all manner of criminal activity will go down. It doesn't take stroke and science to have good leadership. I just hope my people will understand this and support our effort to push these guys out of power and regain our homeland and have our true freedom. What's your take on this? Drop it on the comment section. I want to have your opinion. And I want you to share this position. I've said it. You've asked me to speak. I've spoken. Share it. Because they're the government. They are all watching. That is the one important thing. They are all watching. They are all stick to this platform. Every one of them. Because we tell them the, the truth to their face. So keep bringing it. And when we speak, share it.